Okay, hi there. Welcome to another video tutorial that I'll be presenting today. And at this moment, we'll try to answer one of the trending math problem around the world, which is about Cheryl's birthday. Okay, let's start. So Cheryl's birthday is one of the 10 possible dates given below. We have May 15, May 16, May 19, and so on and so forth. Now Cheryl tells the month to Albert in the date to Bernard. Albert says, I don't know the birthday, but I know Bernard doesn't know either. Bernard then says, I didn't know at first, but now I do know. Albert then says, now I also know Cheryl's birthday. And the question is, when is Cheryl's birthday? And is it possible for us to find out the date given these 10 possible dates and those statements? Let's find out. And to answer this kind of problem, we'll be applying elimination method using the following statements that we must bit by bit analyze okay so for the first statement Cheryl told the man to Albert while the day was told to Bernard now for the second one Albert says I don't know the birthday but I know Bernard doesn't know either so basically from this statement Albert was sure that both of them doesn't know yet the birthday of Cheryl. So, if that is the case, we can directly erase or remove two possible dates here. And what are those? And those are May 19 and June 18. Why is that so? Because basically, if Albert was sure that Bernard doesn't know it either, then it cannot be the dates which appear more than once among the options. So, automatically 18 and 19 will be excluded on the list now based also from our second statement we can still remove some information on the list given to us and those are june 17 may 15 and may 16 why is that so because technically if albert was sure that bernard doesn't know it either so he cannot erase or remove the 18 and 19 from the options if he was given the month may and june and for the third statement bernard then says i didn't know at first but now i do know now from this we can also remove options from the list and those are july 14 and august 14. why will i remove it because if that's 14 which was given to Bernard then he can he cannot conclude that he already know the answer right now basically at this point since majority of the dates plus here appears only once then we can already say that Bernard really knows the birthday of Sherry and for the last statement for us to find out the answer Albert then says now I also know Cheryl's birthday so if Albert knows the month then he can just conclude that if the given month is July because if it is August he still have two options but since he said that he already knows the answer or Cheryl's birthday then therefore our final answer is July 16th.